Grade 11s, we're on our sixth day of sequences and series, the last day of this unit, and we're going to be talking about geometric series. And so I've got to carefully word this that I say the word series and not sequence each time. Jeff gives his daughter Pam $10 on her 12th birthday. He doubles his gift each succeeding birthday. What is the total amount that Pam has received up to and including her 17th birthday? So we can write the terms out, $10, on her 12th birthday, 20, 40, 80, 160, 320, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So $320 on her 17th birthday. So the total that she has been given would be adding this sequence. When we add a sequence, we call it a series. So this is a geometric, and the reason it's geometric is that he has doubled, multiplied each subsequent term. So it's a geometric series when we are adding the terms. The total would be $630. So for the general geometric series with n terms, we know that the first one is a, our second one is a times that ratio once, a and that ratio squared, I'm sorry, your series plus signs, all the way to the nth term sum of the general of the general geometric series with n terms is the sum of n terms is that initial value times r to the n subtract 1 over r subtract 1 r can never be 1 if you're not sure that you believe me r to the n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 times a will give you what you started with, and I would show some of you in class, but not on this recording. <laughs> Let's find some sums. So if you have 2 plus 4 plus 8 and so on, and we want the sum of 9 terms. Let's write our general form. It is a times r to the n minus 1. over r minus 1. So for nine terms, for this particular example, our first term is a. Our common ratio is double to the nine terms over 2. Sorry. Our ratio is 2 and take away 1. a is 2 times 2 to the 9 minus 1, 512 minus 1 over 1 is 2 times 511, which is 1,022. Who knew? 3 plus 6 plus 12 plus 24, we're asking you to find the sum of 10 terms. So A r to the n minus 1 over r minus 1. Our a value is 3. r to the n. Our rate of growth here is doubled. n is 10 minus 1 over r minus 1. Our r is that rate of growth, which is doubling. There we are. 3 times. 2 to the 10, 1,024, subtract 1 over 1. I just haven't given myself quite enough space. It's 3 times 1,023 is 3,069. 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1, we are having all the way down. So if I want the sum of 9 terms, 
my A value is 8. My R, my ratio, is having. N would be 9, take away 1, over R, which is a half, take away 1. 8 times, a half to the 9 is 1 over 5, 12. Take away 1 over negative a half. Letting my calculator do all the work for that. Approximate answer, 15.97. 20 plus 60 plus 18. This one's a little bit trickier to see the ratio. My A value is 200. I want 10 terms, but my ratio would be 60 divided by 200, which in simplest terms is 3 over 10. Check. Is 60 times 3 tenths equal to 18? And it is. So our ratio is 3 tenths. We want the sum of 10 terms. Here's our formula. A, R to the N minus 1. A, R to the N minus 1 over R minus 1. Yikes. So consider that bottom in brackets. That will be easier for your calculator work. And if we type that whole thing in, I'm going to do it in one step. 285.7. For the geometric series, because there's adding signs, 7 plus 21 plus 63, I can see that my A value is 7 and my ratio is 3. I want the value of the tenth term, so I want T10 and the sum of the first 10 terms, so I want S10 as well. So for T10, my formula would be A r to the ninth. So 7 times 3 to the ninth. She's going to be big. 137, 781. Of course, I'm doing that in my head. All right. For the sum of 10 terms, our formula will be a r to the n minus 1 over r minus 1 is 7, 3 to the 10th minus 1, all over 3 minus 1, 7. 59049. Oh, Goodness sakes. The sum of 10 terms is 206,000. 668. All right, I want to deal with my children. I want them to do some chores. They agree to one cent on the first week, two cents on the second week, and so on. So our geometric sequence would look like that. If I am talking about a total, I am talking about a series. So on with an extra decimal floating around. Let's get rid of him. There. And I have been asked at the end of 15 weeks, what is the total amount that her teenagers will have earned and what about after 20 weeks? So I want to know the sum of 15 weeks and the sum in 20 weeks. So for this series, my A value is decimal zero one and my R is doubling. For 15, I want A r to the n, 
subtract 1 over r subtract 1. This is 0, 1 times 2 to the 15. And you would think I'd know that by now. 2 to the 15, 3, 2, 7, 6, 8. Which is three hundred and twenty seven dollars and sixty seven cents. Good call, bad call, I don't know. It depends how many chores they did. Let's see in twenty weeks how much different that will be. Still starting at one cent, doubling, but it's twenty weeks this time. So that's the only thing that changes is that 20. And if we do that, then they get $10,487.75. I know when to quit. All right. In his family tree, Kyle has two parents, four grandparents, eight great-grandparents, and so on. Write the terms of the sequence that gives the number of ancestors for each generation. So in one generation, so that would be one generation above Kyle, there are two parents. In second generation, there would be four grandparents, eight, and so on. That is the sequence that represents the ancestors. How many ancestors are there six generations before Kyle? So we want a sixth term. So we could just count it up in the sequence we have above, but we can also find it by our formula A times the R to the N minus 1. Our initial value is 2. Our rate is 2 to the 5, which would be 64. There are 64 great, 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 great grandparents in Kyle's family tree. What is the total number of ancestors? So that's when we want to sum in the six generations preceding Kyle. So we want the sum of six generations. We have A times R to the N minus 1 over R minus 1. And we started with 2, 2 to the 6, subtract 1 over 2, take away 1, 2 times. 2 to the 6 is 64, which is 2 times 63, which is 126 total ancestors in those six generations. Sounding kind of like Mulan at the moment. A phone chain is established to call the num members of a company on bad weather days. The secretary calls three people, and each of these people would call three people, and so on. How many people are contacted on the seventh call? So we want to know the number of people on the seventh call. We want the value of the seventh term. So if this is a tripling process, it is a geometric sequence or series, and we want to know the seventh term. So it would follow the form A, R to the N minus 1. The initial value, the initial call involved three people. And from there on, they would triple and 6 is our exponent. 3 times 3 to the 6 gives us 2,187 people being called. This is a really big company. This is bigger than Erie Meats. Contacted on the 7th call. What is the total number of people contacted by the 7th call? So that's everybody. That's the sum. The first call, second call, third call, and so on. So we want the sum of seven calls. It is a r to the n minus 1 over r minus 1. Three calls at a rate of tripling the seventh. Three take away one is two. And that gives us a grand total of 3,279 total calls.